Energy use happens every day, the building's in use, over and over and over again. The larger clients, the institutions, they are owner, operator, occupier. Uh, they have a long-term stake in their buildings. They have a vested interest in driving the performance and looking not just at first costs, which they, are, of course, are very mindful of, but looking at the total cost of ownership for their buildings. You've got a financial budget. We have to hit your budget. You've got an operating cost budget. We need those two budgets thought of as one bucket, and then we can save you money by using this process over the life of your building. Most of the time, you want the visual impact of the, a dramatic building, and you want to be able to point and say, I'm not paying bills like I used to. Uh, I mean, our costs have gone down, and I can prove it but you can get a building that's much more efficient than code for the same cost as a traditional building just by making different choices. If you daylight a space and if you are close to the window, your productivity goes up. In hospitals, your healing rate goes up. In schools, the, your test scores go up. People feel more alive in the buildings. You know, you, you feel air moving across your skin. You, you, the daylight's changing every so subtly through the day, but you but you sense that it's uh, an environment that you're connected to. Very small, slight uh, improvements in productivity and enhanced working environment begin to dwarf the dollars, the energy dollars, and the maintenance dollars very quickly.